Now, the second type of um, exception to some electron configurations that we see is with chromium and molybdenum. Now, chromium's configuration, you would believe it to be argon on brackets, 4s2, 3d4. Well, if you notice, the 3d orbitals, which are higher in energy than the 4s, um, has a, one remaining orbital that is not filled by any electrons. So, in general, some of the exceptions to these electron configurations occur when half-filled sublevels are actually a little bit more stable than um, having a sublevel that is missing an electron. So, what chromium is actually going to do is going to take one electron out of the 4s and shift it over to the 3d orbital. And again, notice. Due to Hund's rule, one electron must be in each orbital prior to putting two electrons in the same one. And they must have parallel spins, so they could all be pointing up or all be pointing down, <clears throat> as long as they're spinning the same manner. And um, the chromium's configuration then therefore becomes argon of brackets, 4s with just one, and 3d with five electrons. So the half fill sublevel tends to be a little bit more stable than having one completely empty, one orbital empty. Same thing occurs with molybdenum. If you take a look, they're in the same group. MO has a configuration of, would be krypton in brackets, 5s2, and 4d with 4. So if you look at the electrons in the 5s, they are paired. And then the 5 orbitals in the 4d <coughs> sublevel Again, they only have four electrons total. So, in order to be a little bit more stable, molybdenum actually takes one out of the 5s, shifts it over to fill, or half fill, excuse me, that uh, 4d sublevel. And then ends up having a configuration of krypton with just one electron in the 5s, and then the 4D with a half-filled sublevel, 4D5.